Well, are you fishing for a new hobby? For some people, the hobby and the memories it creates are just as valuable as the tools they use for the big catch. News 10's Matt Gregory spent the day in Effingham, Illinois, with a group of fishermen who collect more than just the prize catch. Rods, reels, and lures, the tools of a fisherman and the treasure of collectors. Well, we, uh, this is a National Fishing Lure Collectors Club, and we, we buy, sell, and trade old fishing tackle. And one of our main objectives is preserving old tackle. They call themselves the NFLCC. And Saturday, they gathered in Effingham to sell, auction, and reminisce about their wares and the big catches connected to them. They come from all different corners of the map. It's a faraway corner that sent us Emil Polanski. I'm from Corpus Christi, Texas, yes. about 1,100 miles south of here. Emil comes to these shows in search of a particular type of lure. I collect mice and frogs, not in Texas, but I collect frog lures and mice lures. While his taste is now refined, it's a hobby he started later in life. Uh, I didn't own a lure until 1992, and my dad told me he had uh, terminal cancer. And I just wanted to get something to hold on to to remind me of my dad. A lot of people start like that. They remember, you know, their grandpa used to take them fishing when they were little, and they used a, a creek chub pikey. And they'll start collecting for sentimental reasons. But even beyond sentimental reasons, nostalgic hand-me-downs, or everyday tools, there's a market for these items that's also driven by price. Just walk over to Jack Leslie's stand. Well, it's called a wiggle, wiggle tail fish or Smith minnow, and uh, the asking price on that lure is $18,000. His for sale collection here is his surplus of things he's collected over the years. For every one of these collectors, it's a hobby that grew out of their love for fishing, but swims a little deeper. I think it gets in your blood. It, just, <laughs> it really does. That's why Jack Leslie's not just trying to make a quick buck, but find a new home for his passion somewhere downstream. We are caretakers for a certain length of time, and it's about time for me to let them give it to somebody else or sell it to somebody else and let them take care of it. Hoping his and every collector's passion hooks a new generation of lure collectors. In Effingham, Illinois, with photojournalist Joe Ostrowski, Matt Gregory, News 10. Very interesting there. For more information on antique tackle and fishing lures, visit our webpage. That's WTHITV.com.